Hi right, guys, we're in the building. More small moment. Yeah. In the same building. Same building. Slight different setup. Yeah, my head's a bit cut off there. I'm, so, I'm yeah. sorry. Like, that's why I'm trying to lean like this, trying to look cool. So if I look a bit awkward, let me know. I don't know. Like, am I looking a bit dishevelled? Yeah. I I, yeah. And tell us, which you prefer? I mean, does this work for you guys? If we sit here, a bit more relaxed, or would you prefer us on the... Ah, not that you know how our setup is. Do you prefer this setup or the other one? Either this is way. it. I mean, that's you can it. blame me for this. This, this was... Um, this is a weird, weird, weird little thing. I don't know, like, I was getting lazy. I think I got lazy this morning with a set. So, um, yeah, all right. Either way, look, we're set, here. Like, we're in a studio. <laughs> we, this is our studio. This is our studio. This is our studio, right? Yeah. It's like, this is the set. But either way, look, we've got a question. A question came into us at ask at mozzamore.com. I told you again, we answer the questions. Keep sending the, keep sending the emails. So, th- this is the question. What shoes are these? And what do you wear them with? Straightforward. I forget. I'm like, aren't you going to show them the shoe? Oh, they've seen it. Edit it. They've Edit seen it. it. They've seen it. All right, cool. So, so, what's he gone? Go for it. Um, so, guys, essentially, these shoes are slipper shoes. Um, and you would wear them for formal occasions. So, um, the way you would wear them, or the way I would wear them, mm-hmm. would be with really slim fit trousers. That drop a little shorter than the usual trousers. Uh, you wear them sockless, and I'd wear them to an event. So, for example, if I was a guest at a wedding, um, and I was feeling a bit snazzy, like for the evening part, I'd probably drop them for that. Um, could wear them to a club. Could wear them in hot weather somewhere. Um, and when I say sockless make sure you're wearing some invisible socks rather than sockless. Nobody wants to have any stinky feet. Moisturise your feet too. Moist- Moisturise your ankles. That's what you need to do. Yeah, so that's how I'd wear it. Could rock it with a jacket. I've seen people rock it with a tuxedo of sorts. Not my style, but it can work. Yeah, I think that's the main way to wear it. For events, when you want to go quite stylish and you don't want to go too far in the formal way, that's the type of look I'd go for. What's your thoughts? I'd, I'd wear them the same I'd wear any loafer, to be fair. Okay. Any sort of penny loafer, I'd sort of stick slipper shoes in a in sort of similar environment. The only thing is, I'll, I'll, the only thing I'll say with this shoe is I wouldn't wear it to work. That's what I was if about I to worked, say. If I worked for um, a company that told you to wear business attire, I wouldn't wear it for business. That's the only time I wouldn't wear it, but as whatever you'd wear a penny loafer for okay right? if you can imagine like the, the Russell and Bromley le- little penny loafers the level ones where you wear sockless as well that I'm wearing today yeah, yeah but the ones that you wear sockless yeah <laughs> so in that style whatever you do that again I agree I will wear socks with it but that's so what I've got to add I what add are else. your thoughts on the the guys who wear it with their main wedding outfit not for the evening for their main wedding outfit because you can wear loafers for that can go sockless but would you wear the slipper shoes? But see, that's all. That, I think that's down to personal preference. Okay. Now, that's personal preference. I Which think, is why I asked you. Oh yeah, <laughs> no, I think personally, I wouldn't. I think a lot of guys have, and they pulled it off amazingly yeah. well. Um, it is what it is. It depends on what vibe you're going for. So, for example, if you're for your main part of the wedding, if you're looking to be very formal, then I wouldn't. If you're looking to be more casual and relaxed, then yeah, I would. But it's all about your preference and the vibe you're going for. So I've, I have seen it where literally from ankle up is completely formal. Bow tie, dinner jacket, mm-hmm. shirt, everything, the works, cufflinks, studs, everything. But then you go past your ankle, there's no socks and you slipper shoes on. So it's sort of that mixture there and it works, it can. And then, yeah, it is what it is. That's yeah. it. That's what yeah. I've got to say. I mean, again, for my wedding, I did wear my loafers went sockless um, with the double cuff trousers, well, with the cuff trousers and things like that. However, I, w- I was A, in a hot country, and B, it was the, the as you'll see probably by a picture, you see that the, the shoes were still quite formal. Whereas with the with a slipper sock, yep. slipper shoes, they do, they are very much more on the casual side. Um, and again, I've seen people do it and it works. Um, so it's all about, as Joshua said, what you're looking for, how how you want to achieve the the vibe that you're going for. Agreed. So, Definitely. Yeah. Um, so I can't think of any other way I'd wear it, but yeah, pretty much thumbs up. Cool. Cool. There we have it. All right. So there you have it. 
the slipper shoe. How you wear it, what it is, and how you wear it. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you've got a pair now. Well, I hope you, you, whether you've got the pair, you know where you're going to wear it, how you're going to wear it, and you're going to enjoy it. So, um, enjoy a slipper shoe. Continue to send your questions into us. Like, oh, see, I'm doing this. I'd say this is why I think this potentially may not be the best position because I'm doing this a lot and I'm talking into my hands and I'm very informal. So, I'd rather like try and do this and get, get all up in your face a bit like this. Cut your head off. But anyway, no, let me not do that. Continue to send your questions into us at askamortonmore.com. Continue to like, subscribe, comment, and share the video. And continue to interact with us on our several social media streams from Facebook. Look how big my hand is in the camera. That's interesting. Facebook, <laughs> Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Yes. That's it. Cool. Until next time, guys.